All right, Night Sage, Montana. We've seen some of her games before. Um, quick screenshot. Okay. Now some of you guys are here to see what the winning number was. What I did was I put together uh, this contest here. I wanted to make sure um, Alright guys, I'm just Okay, um, so I created this thread here, a little contest uh, celebrating the start of the recruitment station. Uh, the ultimate prize is one of the, uh, one premium ship of the player's choice that you can earn from the different, uh, containers. Kettlehead, you're welcome. Let us know what you get. Um, no, uh, I mean, the thread is on the North American forums, but I mean, if somebody wins with a EU account, I can have the price sent to them, or uh, the other containers are just codes, and it could be Night Sage. Uh, real quick, premium consumables, this is ranked. <laughs> go big or go home. Speed flag, anti-fire, credit reduction, fire chance. I don't know why you have a fire chance flag on this ship. I want to be a flame town I get to do that. XP is okay. There's a air booster. I mean, I don't. I don't think you. I don't think you get much value running HE on this. That's all right. Zad is triggered. Yeah. All right. Um, daughter, we're on your cousins. Uh, anyway, um, so I put together this contest and I wanted it to be something different, something special. Uh, so. For one, the contest is highlighting players who have invited other players in. They were either invited by somebody or they invited a friend. And I, I wanted them to share a story. And this is this is for a few reasons. One, I firmly believe that this game is far better when played with friends. Um, as you can see in the last game, it, it definitely was. Um, and I also feel like, um, you know, a lot of people give wargaming crap when they Honestly, I, I don't know that Wargaming deserves said crap for um, finding ways to try to encourage people to recruit others. Um, if you saw my video about rec the recruitment system, uh, I really do enjoy, um, I, I like the new system. I think it's great, especially rewarding players for playing together in divisions and for winning, of course, but just playing together, I think it's great. 15 camo, 30 wyvern, most important enough tokens to get Mermatsk. Oh, perfect, cool. Mermatsk is a fun ship. She's been power crept a heck, but Still fun. Um, so anyway, uh, so I put the contest together, and I wanted to do something uh, extra special with it. So I, I've done a lot of these uh, kind of, you know, guess one to a hundred kind of thing. Um, then people, I said one person gets a premium ship of their choice found in, the, in these different recruitment containers. Um, ten are going to win a huge recruitment container. Uh, ten will do a large, and then another ten will do uh, one of the smaller ones. Um, so I did something a little bit different too with it, and I decided I was going to pick a number, but um, I didn't want to pick the number, and I thought it would be more fitting to have my mother pick the number. Um, I've, I haven't talked much about it, so I'll talk about it now. Um, I was out of town because my mother was dying. I spent a couple of times in May, I went to go visit her, and I wanted to go and see her, and I figured it would probably be the last time that I was, um, so it was kind of important. And so I came up with the idea for the contest and, uh, she's in a hospital bed, uh, broke her hip so she wasn't able to move. She was just literally just sitting there. And so, uh, I was talking to her about the game. I was talking to her about what I do for the game. And, um, you know, I said, you know what, mom, why don't you be the be the last one uh, to pick this. Why don't you be the one to pick up the number? Um, and she said okay. And she said that was kind of fun. 
Um, she knew I do a lot of stuff with, with Warships. She didn't know exactly what I did. She just knew that I really enjoyed it. Um, and she knew I was getting some, some really good uh, benefits from, uh, from the program and from the game and stuff. And she knew uh, that it meant a lot to me. So, um, so I asked her to pick a number between 1 to 100. And she sat there in the bed for a minute and thought about it. Um, said, okay. She gave me the number. Um, and, you know, I, I basically spent most of my time, I was there to help my, my dad, of course. There's a lot of stuff to do around the house, a lot of things um, to do health-wise. She was basically, that was it. We knew she was, not, we all knew she was, was going to pass. Um, and so, um, she chose the number, and that winning number is 45. Um, so, let me take a look at spreadsheet here, I and mean, you can see it in the stuff that was sent. So that's Mr. Leon Rios, um, won the ultimate prize of being able to choose um, which ship. And then what I'm going to do is equals cell minus four. See how close other people were to that winning choice. And I'll tell you a little bit more about what. And let's see if I can do absolute value yes of Google helper you are not helping me right I'll just type it up Spreadsheets are fun, right? There we go. Okay. So our winners are Leon, and then of the huge containers, that's going to be WCV Gambier Bay. Hello is the big winner. The Then Der Kaiser Slee and Elsa Greepal worked at Story Romanus. Five Volts. Anyway, uh, and I'll, I'll finish going through these. And I'll put the uh, contact the winner and put the rest on here. But um, why is this so important? Well, like I said, she chose the, uh, chose the, the number. And she passed away 36 out. So. It was one of the last things that I remember my mom by. It was very important to be able to share that with you guys. I do appreciate you guys hanging out to the lab on for... Yeah. This is kind of like her last, uh, her last thing. Um, what's going on in this battle? I'd say just doing well. You guys have been watching it both. Yeah, Raptor, I'm glad I'm home now, too. It, it took a long time to get home yesterday. I extended my stay. I was supposed to be home on Wednesday. I said, I'm going to stay until Friday. Helped my dad do a lot of cleanup stuff. <laughs> Mom died on Father's Day. Uh, but anyway, um... She's done with the pain, she's done with the suffering, you know, and that's what mattered the most. And like I said, we knew she was going to, so it was just, so, you know, factor of life. And you know what? I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a sudden thing. We knew it was coming. We were prepared mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever we were ready for, for it to happen at some point. So... You know, it's fine. I mean, not like I lost her in a plane accident or a car crash or something like that. You know, I was able to, you know, spend time with her. I got to make her, got to make her dinner uh, two nights before she passed. Um, so that was kind of fun because she always made us dinner. So I got to make her dinner. 
made her I made her bacon. I had bacon for lunch on the, like the night before. And I, I mean, I got to spend days with her and uh, do work um, around the house and stuff. And, and so, I mean, you know, I got to do a lot of things I needed to do. Um, and now I get to go to Russia. And um, obviously, I'm not going to forget. Um, but, you know, I'm going to focus on other things for a bit. Um, I've had a very stressful past few months since March. All kinds of different things in my life. My mom was obviously part of that stress, and now um, that's gone, and I can focus on some of the more fun things. So I'm really glad that I get to go to St. Petersburg. I'm really glad I get to hang out with Raptor, and you know, a lot of my community contributor friends make some new friends, that sort of thing. That's important. You've got uh, a loved one who's uh, sick or something, just make sure you spend time with them. You never know when your your last um, talk with them is going to be. You know? Last thing I said to my mom was good night. Up to my dad telling me she's dead, so at least I got to say good night to her. Just um, be thinking about that guy. You never know oh, when you're going to lose someone. At that night stage, um, sorry we didn't really see your, your replay much and comment much on it, and that's probably a Debbie Downer kind of a replay, but at least we got to put it out there and these people got to see it. Um, so with that guys, it's, it's 3.30 and uh, I think I'm gonna go. <laughs> so, um, thanks for hanging out. I'll do one final, let's do one final thing. Like I said, I'm gonna be gone um, next weekend, so I won't be streaming next weekend. I think a patch is coming out, probably. Um, Rower, congratulations, you win. Tell me what you want. And, um, last thing your, your grandma said was, life is good. That's, that's awesome. Wraith and JT, thanks. Um, yeah, you know, when, when people go and they go, and that's good. Um, <laughs> yeah, Raptor is gonna cheer me up in Russia. That's I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So obviously, I've got more private things. Um, yeah, what do you want, Roar? So, uh, when I get back from Russia, maybe I'll do a stream during the week. What day of the week would be good for you guys? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Do you guys, do you guys like the same time slot, or would you rather I do one more in the evening? I can. Um, if not, I'll wait until the following weekend. And then I, so I get back from, from Russia for a week and a half, week, I don't know, whatever. And then I'm off to Croatia! So I'm looking forward to that too, get to go to King's Landing. Uh, get the hell away. Um, you know? Drink some wine, alcohol, have fun. What do I have? Community Contributor Container or uh, Premium Russian? So. Alright, um, with that guys, big thanks, as always, for hanging out, being a big part of the... Uh, why I enjoy doing this so much. Um, and the winner, Leon, gets to pick between several ships. I'll list them out real quick. Ashitaka, Duke de Osta, Kid, Prince Oigan, the Vampire, Wang Hei, Katori, Mutsu, Krasny Krim, Monahan, Mikasa, Yubari, Aurora, Marblehead, Lima, Smith. Lots of different choices. Oh, you better believe we're gonna have fun in Russia. Doesn't spine it? Okay, good. Well, um, I don't know if I'm gonna bother to release that on YouTube, but um, at least, you know, you can, I'll, I'll highlight it or something so you can catch it on Twitch. Kind of a bit of a downer replay, so... I don't know. Alright, Aurora want the premium rush. It's the last one! Last up. That makes things easier. Uh, we gotta figure out somebody to raid. Who do you guys want to raid? I see Fem's on, I see... You know what? If you guys don't mind, I'm gonna raid a, a good friend of mine. Someone who, um, I have a deep connection with. And Raptor probably already knows who that is. He doesn't, um, he doesn't know me that well. Raptor, who am I gonna, who am I gonna raid here? Let's see if you guess it right. Lego Party Australia, thank you. Thank you for this. You are damn right. We are going to raid Mr. Super Nuclear Power. But this is 
the real Super Nico Power. Nico was a uh, Wargaming employee, uh, one of the best. I'm gonna say hi. Thanks all, take care. Hug your loved ones and enjoy the rest of your weekend.